Hello my loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome to my living room. I've been spending a lot of time down here because we put the tree up. This is my first time having a white tree so it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Today I have kind of a special video. One of my Instagram babes sent me a screenshot of a product that is going crazy on Facebook right now. The product is the Counting Crochet Set from Everything Crochet. According to the ad, you will never lose track of your stitch count or row count again. I thought that was a pretty tall order so I went and picked one up. It finally arrived. So I thought we'd review it together. Now, if that sounds like fun to you, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Before we dive too deep into the review though, I want to pay some bills. Let's give some love to our video sponsor Skillshare and make sure you stick around for a special announcement. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for the curious and the creative. Millions of members visit this video workshop platform to learn everything from illustration to design, even how to run your small business and crush it at social media. Lately, I've been feeling a little restless creatively and I needed some inspiration and I'm so grateful that I stumbled upon Sewing Basics, Make Your Own Clothing on Skillshare. I know of the teacher, Denise Bayron, from her stunning knitwear designs, but she does so much more than that. She is literally maker goals. Check her out on Instagram. Now her Skillshare class is all about loving your body and the handmade clothes that you put on it. I've bought and sold two sewing machines in my lifetime, but maybe with Denise, the third time will be the charm. This class and thousands more more are available on demand when you upgrade to the premium membership. If you're ready to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your own creativity, hop on over to Skillshare. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the Skillshare link down in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership. It is special announcement time. I am elated to share with you guys that I just saw draft footage from my very own Skillshare Originals class. Yay! I am teaching an intro to crochet class with a super fun project and lots of resources to get you started. Make sure you join my email list so you'll be one of the first to know when the class finally launches. And let me just give a legit shout out to Skillshare. They've been an amazing partner all year long and they're a big part of why this channel even exists. Thanks Skillshare. And of course we have to give some love to our cup of caffeine sponsor. I've actually already had my caffeine today so I've switched to water. So this bottle of water is brought to you by our friend Allison. When donating, Allison said, I love, love, love your videos. <laughs> your extensive knowledge about yarn is so helpful and I'm learning and loving Tunisian crochet because of all of your amazing videos. Keep up the amazing work. First off, you cannot use the word amazing too many times in a message. So thank you so much, Allison. Thank you to everybody who's donated to my channel over the years. You guys are just, I don't know. I think I'm especially emotional with the holidays and everything. So I just want to say thank you. And if you want to support my channel and you like my videos, buy me a coffee or a bottle of water. Who knows? I might shout you out in my next video. Now let's get to the review. If you don't know already, Everything Crochet has been running an ad for their Counting Crochet set this holiday season. I pulled up the webpage. So let's kind of go through this a little bit. So it's the Counting Crochet set. It retails for $99.99 and it's on sale right now for the holidays for $49. 99. I already don't love that because I mean, looking at the photo, it looks perfectly fine, but it just looks like a plastic interchangeable crochet hook set. That's kind of a high price tag, not going to lie. As you continue down, they have a little gift here of somebody crocheting with the hook and pressing the stitch counter. Now under product features, it says count stitches and rows. So keep track of both your rows and stitches by simply clicking the buttons on the handle. It says smart count technology. The count can easily be increased or decreased and it automatically stores the last stitch count count and row combination. Nine in one aluminum heads counting crochet set includes nine in one aluminum interchangeable heads with hook sizes from two and a half millimeter to six and a half millimeter. That's pretty significant. Now, Anybody who's been here for a while knows about my experience with interchangeable crochet hooks. It hasn't always been positive, but I'm staying optimistic as I do for every single product. You know, maybe they will surprise me. Looking at the reviews here on the site, most of them are very good. Four and five stars. As soon as I saw this on Facebook, I knew I needed one of these counting hooks because I always get interrupted. I love the packaging. The case is sturdy and it comes with every hook size I need. So glowing reviews here on their website. I looked at some of the comments and the reviews that people were putting in the comments over on Facebook, also extremely positive. But we're gonna see if this product actually lives up to all of the hype. So right off the bat here, we have a hard plastic case 
and a little stretchy tie here. It looks like we can slip it right off to keep it closed. So try not to open it upside down. Okay, here we go. So first it says, thank you. Your order made our day. We hope we make yours. Press any button to turn the hook on. Press the S button after each stitch to increase the stitch count. Press the R button for the row count. Hold the S for three seconds to reset the stitch count. Same for the R. Hook will turn off after three minutes of inactivity. Press any button to resume. Very cool, okay? So we've got the handle here and it's just a hard plastic. The only thing I'm noticing right now is it's kind of slippery. It does have these grips here probably for your thumb so I think we can make that work we also have our charging cable we have a few of the hook heads that fell out here but it looks like we're going up to a six and a half millimeter which is about average just like the other interchangeable hook heads we've worked with before it's got the size right here hook head actually looks really good this looks like the kind of hook head I typically go for so I'm happy with that it's giving me kind of hybrid tulip tips here I'm cool with that. I can jazz with that. It's also got the little baby ranch that we are going to need to insert the hook head into the handle, which works. And then, of course, it comes in this whole case where everything has a place and there's a place for everything. I kind of like how slim this is. I feel like I could easily slip this into a purse or a project bag. It's probably really nice for traveling as well. I think the only thing that this doesn't do so far that I can tell is it doesn't light up, which... I think that would actually be kind of cool with a hook like this. To try out my hook, I have a whip here. This is the Granny Go Round Cardigan from Iron Lamb. I'm just making a long duster type cardigan. I had this on ice because I ran out of this color, but I just got more. So let's get our hook set up and give this a try. So I am going to need a five millimeter hook and that is that's a four and a half. So this is the five. It looks like I will just plop this in here. Use my little wrench. Just like that, I think. Yeah. And tighten it in. That works perfectly. So I'm noticing already that the hook head is pretty much in line with the handle, so that should help. It's a little off center. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it's just me, because now I'm looking at the camera and it looks like it's fine. But it's a little bit off center from the handle. I'll see if that ends up being an issue. I'm gonna grab my yarn here, try and remember my pattern. The whole point of this thing is that it counts stitches in rows, so I'm just gonna give it a little press. Oh. There we go. So you can see that as I'm pressing R, it's counting up rows. And as I press S, it's counting up stitches. So I'm gonna press and hold S for three seconds. Oh, she goes backwards. Hello, darling. So that's one, two, two seconds for backwards. And let's try R. I'm gonna press and hold for it to reset. There we go. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do a standing double crochet first, going down into my stitch. Uh, I need to do two here. So immediately I'm I'm having pretty a pretty good experience with this hook. Wow. Um I was hoping to have more negative things to say, but it actually feels really good. The hook itself is long. I'm not worried about any kind of slipperiness from the hook not having like rubber on the grip. It's actually holding in my hand just fine. The hook itself is a little long. That's always my issue with interchangeable crochet hooks is that the hook itself is kind of long. So it's a little further away from my hand than I like it to be. But I'm getting into this motion pretty comfortably. These double crochets are flying. Wow, okay. Now, as far as actually using the counter, that's pretty easy to do. I'm glad I don't have to actually put my hook down. I can just come with my left hand and select my stitches in rows and then get right back to work. Color me impressed. I have not had a lot of success with interchangeable crochet hooks. That's why I haven't really used a set regularly, but these are super comfortable. The hook itself, I mean, it's a shiny metal, which you can see, so it is a little bit slippery on this merino wool. But that just makes me think this hook is probably gonna be fantastic for acrylic, because acrylic's got drag. I might not use these with cotton. That might be a little too slippery. 
But for this merino wool, I think with a little bit of practice and also, you know, having the project actually on my lap like I usually crochet, I have a feeling I wouldn't have any issues with these. Now let's take a look at my stitches. My stitches are very uniform, very clean, like the whole rest of my project. I'd have to check over time to see if I'm still maintaining my gauge. I'd probably just start a brand new project with this if I was really going to use it. But I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Wow. I'm actually surprised at how much I like this product. Well, okay, everything crochet. My thoughts on the Counting Crochet set, I have surprised myself with how much I've actually liked this product. Even those first few stitches, I'm like, I can very easily get into a groove. It's not interrupting my crochet style. It's not splitting the yarn. The hook itself was quite smooth. I actually really like the case. <sighs> it's my mom. <laughs> I actually really like the case. I'm gonna be traveling soon, so it's gonna be perfect to take along with me and I can use it on all of my projects. There are some downsides to this product. I think the first and biggest downside is the price. You cannot convince me that this product is worth $49.99, much less $99.99, because remember, it's currently on sale. I like that it has a stitch and row counter. I like that it's pretty intuitive and easy to use and set up. I also like the interchangeable hooks because I haven't had a whole lot of luck with those and this set gets it right. When it comes down to it, this is an aluminum and plastic product. It's not expensively made and I don't think it should be nearly as expensive as it is. On a good day, I think a reasonable price would be about $24.99 or maybe $29.99 if they really wanted to turn a profit. I have noticed just the price of everything going up, especially in the craft space. So I'd only recommend getting this as a real treat to yourself right around the holidays. If this does end up going back up to $99.99, hard pass. So what about you, my loves? Is the Counting Crochet set a product that you would give a try? Let me know down in the comments. And if you ever see other fun craft or crochet related products on your social media sites, shoot me an email. I would love to give them a try. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see y'all next time.